had to take it as another game, but really, you know, it's always special to be back here. You know, I was, had the opportunity to see a lot of people yesterday that I haven't seen in a while, go to my house and enjoy my house a little bit, but you know, it, was, it was another game, you know, another game for me. Come out on the losing end, but a great comeback attempt. Uh, just talk about the uh, loss. Yeah, the guys really, really uh, buckled down. You know, some guys, you know, some teams would have just, you know, tanked it and said, let's get the next one, but, you know, the group just kept fighting, 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 and uh, got the self you know, opportunity to try to win the game. Jermaine, I don't know if you've been asked this before, but evaluate your performance. How did you feel out there? I, you know, I just wanted to just get out there. You know, it's hard to evaluate it. I don't, I don't even know how many minutes I play. I don't think it was very many, but um, we just wanted. How'd you feel out there? I felt, I felt pretty good. I felt, we just wanted to see how how, how it would hold up in a um, uh, game situation, and um, we just now we just want to get in another practice tomorrow and, and keep building. You know, but overall we didn't really. You know, we didn't think that I was going to be at the form that I was before I left, but you know, you get, you know, I take it. You know, I told the guys when I came out. Then in the third quarter, that was a, I gave it a passing grade. You know, and at that particular time, we we're down by 20. I say, well, unfortunately, you know, we're down by 20, but I give myself a passing grade for us. It's the physical uh, part of my body. How much did you, well, resist the temptation to to try and maybe do a little bit more than you thought you were capable of? You know what? You know, I thought about it. You know, and you got to just try to play within the rhythm of the team. Um, that's basically why, you know, I said I, you know, I wanted to come off the bench. You know, just work my way back into it, and earn, earn my spot back, and um, just keep, just keep building. You know, I think when you try to do too much, you try to prove. I feel like I don't need to prove uh, anything to, uh, to the fan base because, uh, you know, I've, I've set the record in all-time games. I mean, all-star games. I shot blocking record. I mean, people know that what I can do. It's just unfortunate that we wasn't able to win the championship here because of so many different reasons. But you know, all in all, you just, you, you just want to, you just want to get out there play hard and just get out there without any any hitches in the system. Jermaine, compare the middle two quarters where it seemed to get away from you guys to the fourth quarter when, while well, you almost reeled it back. Defense, man, we got we got stops. We made them, you know, took away the layups and you know, took away the, the open uh, threes and open jump shots. You know, when we do that, you know, we'll give ourselves an opportunity to win. But when we don't do that, then we're going to struggle. And it's, it's been kind of the tell of our team this year. You know, we win games when we play defense. We lose games when we don't play defense. At all disappointed that there were some boos for everything you gave this franchise. I'm at, a, I'm, at a, I'm at a point in my career, you know, where you know I'm healthy, uh, great health, have a great, great, a great, great family, I'm extremely, extremely successful on and off the court. Um, God has blessed me economically, wealth-wise, to do a lot of different things. So, you know, people have their own opinion. People feel like I betrayed them. You know, uh, if that's how they feel, you know, I thought, I thought ultimately. Uh, the agreement was with me and the, and the franchise that they wanted to, we wanted to start over, you know, get a, get something on, on the court where they can be proud of. I never knew that, you know, I was the issue. You know, like nobody wants to be hurt. You know, as a matter of fact, I played to the detriment of my health. You know, I tore the meniscus and kept playing on it because I wanted to be out there for the team. So, you know, people that the people that boo, to, to be honest, I don't, I really don't even get, I really don't care. People that supports me, you know, the people that you know come out and support and wear the jersey. There's a lot of seven jerseys out there. You know, I'm, 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 you know, again, the city has been a, a, a great deal to me, you know, and I appreciate the support. I appreciate the support that I got tonight. But the people that, that don't like me for whatever reason, it really doesn't matter. It really does. I mean, it doesn't change my life whatsoever, but I will be back. Still have my house here, so uh, hopefully the people um, uh, that don't like me as a basketball player now will like me as a person when I come to town because I still will enjoy Indianapolis and I'm, I'm going to keep my house here. Topic, you know, what? Watching Danny Granger the first few years of his career as a teammate, are you? Did you see this coming? What he's been able to do this year, uh, emerging as a potential All Star, is it surprising you what he's doing? He works hard. He works hard. You know, we that's the same conversation he had. He came, he came out to Vegas and we worked out together. Um, brought him over to my house and we talked just about that. You know, and, and he asked questions about uh, some of the things you need to do to be a, you know to be a good player in this league. And uh, he's doing, he's doing what he, what he said he was going to do. You know, just come out and play hard, play both ends of the floor. And be consistent, and that's all you can do is be consistent. And uh, he's doing a great job at it. He's helping those guys play, you know, you know, win games and be in games every single.